We begin here at five with a live picture from Baltimore where crews are still searching for six people who are missing after a cargo ship slammed into this bridge. Daylight shows the aftermath of a large container ship colliding with a support column, causing the bridge to fall into the river in a matter of seconds. CBS 2 Sabrina Franz alive in the control room for us with more on what we're learning at this hour. Sabrina. The focus right now is search and rescue on those six people who are believed to have been on top of that bridge filling potholes when it fell to others were rescued. Part of the Francis Scott Key Bridge disappears under the Patapsco River. Pieces of the steel stick out, mangled over a massive container ship, the Dolly, registered from Singapore. Video captured the collision. All day, the priority has been search and rescue. Six people still unaccounted for. This is an excruciating day for several families. U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg. This is no ordinary bridge. This is one of the cathedrals of American infrastructure. It has been part of the skyline of this region for longer than many of us have been alive. So the path to normalcy will not be easy. It will not be quick. It will not be inexpensive. Pledging the federal government's assistance in a rebuild. There is no question that this will be a major and protracted impact to supply chains. There were 22 crew members, including two pilots on that ship, all of whom were Indian nationals. Officials have said the ship may have lost power before the collision. There's still an investigation going on. Uh, about which vehicles uh, that we had that was on the bridge. The thing that we that we know that we also can verify though is the quick work of our of, of, of public officials and law enforcement who kept more vehicles from coming onto the bridge. They undoubtedly saved uh, innumerable amount of lives. The FBI was on scene of that crash, ruling out any possibility of terrorism. Now the National Transportation Safety Board takes over the investigation, trying to figure out exactly what happened. Mm. In the control room, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. That video is hard to believe. Sabrina, thank you.